All right, so I'm going to be posting this before my videos, guys, and you can partake in it or not, but we're going to do some singing bowls, and I'm going to say a little prayer, and you're welcome to just sit and relax and free your mind up before the reading with me. Um, I just wanted to do this. I'll timestamp it, so if you want to go straight to your reading, that's fine, too. So we're going to go ahead and start. are meant for, to assist them on their journey of healing and spiritual growth. I appreciate your unconditional love and guidance. Thank you, angels, guides, ancestors, and Lord of love. Amen. <sighs> okay, guys, so singing bowls, I'm just going to relax and listen. Hi Virgo, we're getting ready to do a reading for you guys. Um, I'm going to be starting with a soul card for you guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for coming and spending your time here with me, getting a little reading. If it resonates with you, good, maybe. <laughs> if it doesn't, that's fine also. Um, I will say that everybody has a little of everything in their chart because we all have the houses. And that is... Um, Oh, in Virgo, you have that sixth house. Health, routine, duties, work, occupation. That's the house of Virgo. Um, skills, learning skills to work. You know, I was just, this has been a big energy, like, in the air. Thinking about the sun, the sun sign, your sun sign. Um, I kind of feel like I've been getting a lot of thoughts about, the sun sign kind of being like our ball and chain like why we're trying to go to our, towards our north node and express ourselves with our mercury and our, all these other signs and stuff that are in our charts um and astrologically it's very um but i feel like the sun's the one thing that connects us and keeps us like if that makes makes us feel like part of the earth it connects us to the earth um but yet, like, it can also, like, spiritually, sometimes it can feel like the ball and chain that keeps us to the earth. Um, like, where it's harder to explore our um, deep, like, psyche and our, like, spirituality and stuff. Because that sun sign is really, like, our image. It's really, like, what we live in and what makes us feel, like, comfortable. And everybody's used to seeing that. So it's kind of like the ball and chain, too. Because if people are used to seeing you as, like, the family girl or the working guy. And you're really, like, deep down a passionate artist who's, like want to be a free spirit you know there, there's this feeling of that there's in the air I've been feeling this and I don't know if there were, um, other readers are feeling this also but I have been so Virgo this is your first card out 
this always to me feels like an impression leaving an impression um it feels like immediately like um uh i feel like it's almost like a print in the sand um an impression hmm somebody else had this too i don't know if it was during this like the last round of readings or what but i i get this um filling with this of kind of taming a animal instinct or a uh i call it like that you know that like lizard brain or the animal brain and kind of be going above that going beyond the basic instincts um this might have been with one of your guys' readings i don't know but this is a really strong reading of uh, this card is a strong card in this reading because it's it's like we can be kind and gentle with those kind of primordial um or primal like that was primal instincts and the primal um things and also when i'm looking at this too this is it could, looks kind of like a fossil it almost looks like an Im impression of like um like if you were to take an impression out of the ground that was like fossilized so this is feeling um as i pull these like something old or something primal or something really embedded and printed it feels very almost ancestral um and it feels very deep and like primordial um being kind of understood showing it compassion showing it a gentle nature um maybe looking at it in more of a gentle like human way if that makes sense it's not like an animal there's something here um kind of being tamed or understood and it's emotional it feels emotional because the blue lizard gives me this emotional like where it's like it usually just would come to me like this lizard this dragon as red and fiery and aggressive but it's calm and it's um but it still looks very aggressive but the the blue is like a a water energy to me so it feels like something emotional like a primordial instinct or a primal instinct um that's imprinted maybe in your dna maybe in your energetic impression is what i call it this feels like an energetic impression that's been left for you to heal to understand to nurture in a way that's um not feeding it but not letting it control your higher mind your higher guidance um not being guided by the lower and what i call like the lower mind or the the lower instincts you know the um, human um animal um instincts that's what i what i'm getting there you guys so virgo oh I love this. This card brings me so much joy and happiness. He is, okay, so there is this feeling here of just going, it's almost like, okay, so I'm getting like that genie out of a bottle kind of energy that kind of like, like there is something here like, and it's also like this sun is just really feeling, like there's a feeling here of just feeling really joy. joy. Um, and there is this like enlightened energy of maybe you have recently kind of healed something or understood something about yourself maybe like a primal um can like a primal instinct this could be protective nature this could be aggressive nature i want to say it was sagittarius or something that had this so you may have that in your chart too i don't remember who exactly had it but i may have to go back and try to find that but um it feels like there's something here you've been able to kind of free yourself from and it's something old and like fossilized and it's like imprinted and, and now it's like there's this freedom there's this happiness there's this joy of like feeling kind of free from like like old baggage or old um and this could be old like healing family <sighs> habits habit you know family things but it could just be stuff that was like imprinted in you and then you've worked on kind of it's still there but it's more of like a friendly um energy that's there with you now rather than like it's you're coexisting with this primal energy and this human energy and it's making you feel quite happy that's what i'm getting from this reading virgo there is a feeling of being happy here and being like relieved i'm feeling relief i'm feeling um oh and then on the bottom you know it's like 
And it had to be something in the mind, because there is a lot of mind energy here. Even in this impression, there's like all these rays of like light coming out from the over the mind, you know? And, and then also we got this really illuminated mind here. Something like changing your mind about maybe the way you handled something or the way you handle stuff or the way you deal with your emotions. Um, but there's something here that the way you handle your obstacles, this was a message for somebody. I need to go back and try to find that because it was like the way we handle our obstacles sometimes can lead us to um, handle things like instinctually. And sometimes our instinct is try to immediately make ourselves feel better or immediate gratification instead of working and doing the the deeper work and because we want like instant fixes and this is that person with the mountain in the mind climbing the mountain of the mind and coming up to a um peace with it coming to peace with something in the mind a surrendering maybe to a process of like healing some like deep like um embedded impressionable this could be impressions that were left upon you on in this lifetime or left energetically within you throughout many it's only you'll know that Virgo but that is what I am getting so let's go ahead and get a word um this is the virtue clarity deck and we're going to go ahead and get three words for your reading there we go I'll take that one flexibility yeah this this um imprint or this um is it was solid. It's a solid. It was solid. It's solid. It's solidified within something um, that was felt fossilized and hard and embedded in you. Um, you you worked on it. You've worked to make it more moldable. Maybe added some emotions to it. Maybe um, added some water to it with this lizard energy here, with this watery energy, like to soften it. And it softened something that was really hard and immov immovable um, to, to change because you wanted to change. There's something here you wanted to change or modify or fix. Um, and there's this flexibility here because it was like, it says better to bend than to break. So maybe you had to do some um, creative work within yourself to become a little more flexible in your thinking. Maybe you kept um, going back to this kind of instinctual place or this primal place or something where it's like you had to really like integrate like this, um, this flexibility into your nature, if that makes sense. And then we got positivity and you fed it with, there's a feeding this energy with positivity saying that's a good thing. That's a good thing that that's there. But, um, it says better to light a candle than curse the darkness. So instead of hating or disgracing or dismissing or rejecting this primal energy or this instinctual energy, you have actually, it feels like you, and if you haven't done this, this could be something you're doing right now for go is like nurturing it, having an optimistic attitude about it, thinking positively about it, shining the light on it, saying, yeah, I know, I know you're there. I know you're there and it's okay. It's okay that you're there because, you know, they, these primal and instinctual things that are deeply seated in us have served me and my son talk about this all the time. And ironically, he's a Virgo. So, and I have a lot of Virgo in my, we have these discussions really long, like analytical, like theoretical, like tons of this stuff. But it says optimistic attitude or outlook on life choice to look on the bright side. So whenever you're like feeding into this like instinctual place or this maybe primal place where it's kind of detached from like kind of the joy of being here or the joy of being human. Um, there's this, and this that I feel humor here too. Like you can almost laugh at it now. There's a positivity here and there's almost like a um, humor or a, being able to look at it more humorously, maybe not so seriously now. Oh, I love that. So control comes out and it's under this like kind of genie-ish energy. I can't, it's like this kid is just like, oh, thank you. Like I am through that, I'm good. And then there's this kind of energy going back and forth. And let me show you guys that just in case. But you can see he's like, oh, you know, he's he's feeling good. And yet his high and his highest self is like, it's kind of crazy because I'm feeling like that guidance and it's like, yes. And it's super happy, super overjoyed. Maybe not showing it even. Maybe there's a real calmness, but there's actually like this feeling of being, 
feeling free to be happy. Maybe before you felt like, I can't be happy with this because, like, there's that instinct or there's this constant need to survive, you know? And it's like, wait, I can enjoy. I can have joy in life. Like, there's a feeling here of changing something um, and becoming more flexible and more bendable and not so, like, well, like all work and no play, like that kind of energy. And this says control. Great captains are made in rough waters. I love that. Ability to regulate, reduction of severity, and restraining influence. Um, I do, what's standing out mostly about the, what I just read is the reduction of severity. Um, it, it feels like this instinct or this really deeply kind of inflexible energy. Um, you've learned to neutralize it or reduce the impact it has on your happiness or on your joy in life. That's what I am feeling. So let's go ahead and get one of these for a go. We're going to just keep moving right along. Um, really nice, you guys. We get it. Blossom. I love that. Growth. You know, blossom whenever I see that. And then the storm. And it says, uh, the captain, you know, it says, a Great captains are made in rough waters, you know. Could could have been some stormy and some really hard energy to get through or, or mold or like soften. It feels like you've been working on softening something um, that was maybe not just yours. It, this does feel like it's been passed um, down, whether that's through your DNA or energetically, like I said. Um, I hate to repeat myself, but I just do because it just comes out. But it is, you're blossoming, there's something growing here, and there's something... Um, pleasant that you are in right now that's feels nice um it feels like you're in a good place right now and if this is this is definitely right here like it's like if if you're not feeling this right now Virgo, it's like right around the corner like it's right here this doesn't feel far out at all um so that is that now let's go ahead and get one of these oracle of the long now i may read these I got two more oracles, you guys, and a few tarot we're going to pull. Mm, Gnosis. We are going to read that. And the well. Constantly going back to that inner reservoir. But this is Gnosis. This is kind of a place. This is more of like an environment of like the underworld and like there's like a lot to this to this energy so we are going to read that because um i just you you can't really it's it's very interesting because there's this heart in this card i'm going to show you that again and she's got the eye in her heart and she's seeing with her emotions not what she's seeing there is a feeling here of navigating now maybe maybe where before it was hard to navigate through an emotional place but there's definitely some emotion here um guiding your heart guiding you um through dark places your heart your compassion your understanding maybe forgiveness positivity guiding you the candle in the darkness so it is dark where she's at and following the heart through those places where it feels just like kind of it just stormy upsetting maybe um has led you or is leading you or has um and is possibly leading you to even better um leadership in your life and um being a positive a positive uh leader a positive example um having a, a good attitude and using your heart to guide you instead of um yeah, there's an assistance with access. Broken dreams on the bottom. Yeah, there there definitely feels like there has been some really hard stuff um, here, uh, Virgo. But this assistance with access, somebody else had gotten this one too. And it is, and she's holding this key. And it says, it is necessary to ask for and accept help in order to receive it. Um, and I feel like this, this is something um if you are furthering your and you do find yourself in need of help or maybe you did ask for help and that's um and it doesn't it, it, whatever help that is whether this is from family friends counselors who, who knows what kind of um, guidance or anything you could use in your life to help you um kind of 
soften the edges of like really hard um, things in your life or kind of maybe become emotional about stuff you weren't emotional or become less like instinctual where you need to be more like mindful of like your reactiveness stuff like that um it's rough stuff to get through but we all go through at least some sort of this and it's just a very human thing you guys so i am going to read um these uh assistance with access and she's holding that key the key to accessing her happiness her joy um you may need to ask or talk to somebody or just get an, another opinion or something like that um let me see it says the maiden's message attention is your key to everywhere and anything spirit self is accessed through the experience of being in harmonious communion with the world and that means like embracing the world around you embracing your experience of being here maybe not feeling like Ugh, you know like like there's a having a positive attitude about your journey here and about even the dark places or the things you've went through that are hard leads to you understanding and accepting and feeling happy in a world that maybe once didn't seem like it could be um and that was a really fixed thought or a fixed idea or this is what you're working on changing for yourself here virgo um if this is your reading and it resonates your external reality is both the reflection of and the uh, epic aperture into your inner portal to know who you are is to experience yourself in relation to what it seems you are not this has been a big message for everybody and it's having that reflective thing it's like when we see something and we're like god i don't want to be a part of that or i don't like that or look inside there's something looking back at you saying you need to heal that part of yourself you need to look at that part of yourself and see what the problem is here like why um and, and it could be you were rejected by groups clubs whatever and now it's like now it really freak, freaking irritates you you know and stuff like that like I, we we have to go through this or like you know maybe your parents weren't npt and everybody else's were and now you're like i don't want to be a part of that junk but there's something you know or or you're judging and you need to look insult in in yourself and say hmm what can I soften here within myself to make this a less like rigid and hard um, and solidified and ancient energy that needs changed and shifted into a more positive place? It feels like a lot of trying to release a lot of negativity about just surviving life, instinctual stuff, and really embracing the joy of like getting through some hard stuff and staying positive and kind of embracing the darkness in a way that um you've learned how to control control some of those deeper maybe darker heavier emotions and and bring them kind of to a place where you can kind of laugh laugh about them is what i'm getting let me look up this agnosis 28 It symbolizes our experiential knowledge rather than intellectual knowledge. Agnosis is a feminine Greek noun meaning knowledge or awareness. It symbolizes knowing, not seeing reality. When the inner eye has become active in understanding the ebb and flow of life from within, this card appears when we consciously choose to be guided through our lives by the more, more than tactile perception. We become open to being guided by our heart. The Ignosis card holds the energy of the archetype Iris, the goddess of the rainbow. I love that. Rainbows are symbolic of wholeness, completion, harmony, and union. This is really nice because that's what I'm exactly feeling here too, um, is this completion of going through some tough stuff, some rough waters, and regulating the severity of impact it's had on you, maybe your sense of humor, maybe your heart. You know, maybe you've kept your heart intact through some things that, um, where you really wanted to pull into this kind of old or primal place and you just keep remaining positive through and keep nurturing the emotional side of yourself, the human kind of part of yourself, not just the animal side, if that makes sense, you guys. Um, the Ignosis card is understood as a quest for truth. Oh wait, hold on, I missed a sentence. The Ignosis card is a symbol of knowledge or insight into the infinite or the divine. It follows the path which discovers knowledge of spiritual mysteries. Gnosis, Ignosis, I, I know I'm not probably saying that right, you guys, and it's 
I'll figure it out someday. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I've read, I've read it. I've read the correct gnosis. gnosis. I want to say that's right, but isn't secret knowledge, but rather a maturing, it, but rather a maturing transcendent form of knowledge derived from contemplation. This card is understood as a quest for truth in a state of gnosis or gnosis. We bypass the filter of the conscious mind. We bypass the filter of the conscious mind. We go beyond what we see. We go beyond the veil and we feel and we understand things from a place of heart, a place of emotion that's not primal, that's not instinctual. It's, and it's more leaning towards the instinct to love and nurture, not, um, you know, that we do have to bend so we don't break. We do have to become... Um, malleable and we have to grow and move and sometimes we have to like neutralize things within ourselves and heal things within ourselves to become more joyous and in control of our lives um, being the captain captain of our own ships um, this card signifies insight into humanity's real nature wow this is this last paragraph is super this is why I'm glad I read these sometimes because it's like this card signifies insight into humanity's real nature as spiritual not primal, not um, animalistic, as our true nature of being spiritual, um, leading to the divine spark within humanity, which transcends the constraints of earthly existence. That is really profound because it's really, really saying, hey, you're realizing that these primal instincts or these primal fixed energies are not our true nature, are not, um, our true nature is to empathize compassion love try to be positive that's kind of our natural flow most um and when you're kind of resisting that or fighting that you're going to feel it in your life you guys and you're going to feel it in yourself and, and you you've been there you know a period of inner calm comes with this card i love that so there's a feeling here of contentment and happiness right now or coming very soon here because there's a lot you're and if you're in a dark place right now keep shining positive stuff keep being flexible keep understanding that we are spiritual even before we are animalistic it's really really taking that and putting it ahead of um what we know about humanity or what we think we know um there's so much deep stuff to us you guys that's really beautiful so i love 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 that um let's see here okay let's one second guys i gotta get these okay now let's pull a few tear five of cups reversed Trying to look at that positive, not what you've lost, but what is there. Not what feels bad, but what can feel good. A few steps forward. Yeah, there's been a few steps back, but we're always moving forward. And that is a positive way to look at any kind of setbacks. And then we got that two of wands. And that ace of swords. Mm. So there could be a little right here, just kind of still trying to get a vision in place for yourself, trying to stay focused on your truth, on clarity within yourself. And I think the best way to do that right now is to keep shining that light in those dark places where you still feel like maybe you want to turn back and go back to this old kind of um, way of handling your emotions. Maybe um, it feels like in the past, there's just been a feeling of handling them with a, um, a dwelling in them or not seeing anything positive out of it. And now it's like trying to hold on to that. Um, this new, this, I feel like a new positive um, or a new way you have of dealing with these kind of beastly emotions or these ugly, when they rear their ugly head, it's like you, you put a little sunshine on them or you put a little love on them and then you can kind of laugh about it later and you can kind of, it helps calm. It helps calm instead of feed that energy and it's like right now there's a feeling here of wanting to move forward and knowing that you really things have expanded and opened up um but there's still a choice to make here on kind of staying where you're at or moving forward into this true um there is a feeling of security and safety kind of where you're at but there's also this feeling of not um being out yet um if i don't know how to explain that but being beyond 
it's also expressing it to the outer world, if that makes sense. It's coming out, um, coming out, if that makes sense. Maybe you've been doing a lot of inner work, Virgo, and um, you're looking at what you have, and you're like, hmm, I got a lot here. I got a lot here. What do I want to do with this? Now it's time to focus um, on what you want to do with your um, vision. You know, I always see like the two of wands is taking kind of your own path too. Also, um, where it's, there is a feeling of um, having so much uh, to utilize in your world and so much, but it's like you have it all, right? Like, so it's really interesting because I'm actually getting some little different energies here with your guys' um, reading because there's like a, a really, you may, it may be even hard to see like where you're going from here or the truth of kind of your world. Like, this is very interesting. I'm just, I'm going to say that whatever it is you envision for your, your future, um, whatever your truth is and what you, you're finding to be true, and maybe it's not the old belief or the old structure or the old way you, the old, just really, it feels really embedded, you know, um, it's cutting through that. You're, you're cutting through that. You're cutting through this it's weird because I'm getting this, like, you're cutting through an old image of the world. You're cutting through an old idea of how you, you feel in the world or you belong in the world and maybe becoming more harmonized with it, more happy with it. Um, being really in control of how you see it, how you get through your emotional obstacles to see the world differently. There's been a big change in the way you're seeing things here. Um, where you, it's looking, looking a lot smaller now and you're feeling a lot bigger, I feel like. It's really interesting because I don't, it's a different message with the, the two here in the middle, this two of wands. Um, but that's what I'm getting. So Virgo, I believe that is all your guys' cards. Yes. Flexibility, positivity, and control. Have control. Be flexible. Be in control of your emotions, especially and where you're going with your positivity when you're in those shadowy places and how you're navigating how you're seeing the world and how you're feeling in it um as you kind of go through like some maybe um deeper um emotional things um and ask for help ask for help if you need it um that's the key to success if you need it um assistance with access pray ask your friends get guidance if you need to it's always there you always somebody and if there isn't um find somebody, you know, to talk to or to express, um, yourself to. So this is really, really nice, Virgo. I do like it. Um, there's been a lot of, or is being a lot of softening going on here. And I don't mean that in a negative way at all. It's making you more moldable and more in fitting, fitting in a world that, um, maybe you felt really like, like an old energy in, or like a, it's hard to explain the energy I'm getting in your guys' reading, but it's really um, embedded energy that's changing. It seemed fossilized. It seemed fixed. And now there's something really harmonious and crazy opening up here that's really good. And it's the way you are handling your process through, like, just living here. This feels like a just, like, living being. Um, totally different way of approaching um, your life and your darkness and your emotions and your instincts and stuff like that. So that's kind of wrapping it up in a bow, I guess, Virgo. So as always, if you're new, I appreciate you coming. If you've been around here, thank you. I appreciate you sticking by my channel so much. Um, I, as always, I want you guys to have a good day. I hope you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later and um, we'll see you next time.